and the kids just stayed with us and they stayed believing and uh you know come down here how many times we played in Mitchville to be the first team to ever win here it's a big deal and there ain't the one first and so congratulations to Kenny Guyton uh, he did a great job um to have most yards uh, that we've had all season in a bye week and um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, third practice was a credit to him, the players, and the coaching staff. So, obviously, we're really excited about the win and uh, I'm ready for any questions. What was the best for the team after? Oh, man, we're just so happy. Um, talked about a lot of different things, you know, we talked about. You know, last week where, you know, two weeks ago where we just couldn't get anything going offensively and defense had a chance to roll over on the offense. I mean, they did. They had a chance to quit on them, but they didn't. Uh, you know, with the special teams, they kind of outplayed us in the first half. We came back and kind of kept us in the game in the second half. And, and basically, I told them that you're either quitting or Fighting, that's it in life. That's it. And you're not doing maybe one or maybe the other. That's what you're doing. You're either fighting like hell or you're quitting like hell. And I just was really proud of them. I mean, really proud of them because we fought. And what a great game. Um, I'm just fortunate that they got a winning end, a end of it. But that's what I talked to him about. And then I talked about Kenny and Devin May and Tyke Crawford, some guys that, you know, played today that hadn't played you know, for a while and got some great minutes and played well. What did Kenny Guyton bring? Like, what was the, what did he do for you guys? Um, well, we, we tried to find out what we could do well. And he brought a lot of enthusiasm to and a lot of belief. The kids, you know, a coach, a good coach gets his kids to play better than what they are, not as good as they are, better than what they are. And a lot of coaches have that ability to do that, and some don't. But Kenny's one of those guys that has that ability that kids want to play. They they respect him, so they want to do well. And uh, you could feel it all week, you know if we was going to win or not, but. On Wednesday, I felt like we were because of fastball starts. I thought that the offense looked really good. And I go down to the defense and Deke Adams, uh, Andy, and the D-line and the scout team offensive line are knocking heads and getting a lot done. And I walked away and I go, I think we're going to win. I just had that feeling. But um, just the belief in him. And, you know, he's got a little swag to him and a lot of charisma to him. And, and the kids believe in him. When overtime, first and 20 after the holding, it looked like KJ's next run was maybe with the RC's run all year. And then Rockets the next one, he might have been his. I think it up. was. Um, they won't win. They had the passion back. You know, I think I did say maybe last week or a week and a half, or we kind of lost our – we lost our – Edge on offense, lost our uh, passion on offense, and definitely you get it back because we we had it back today. Sam, what do you think about Rocket? It kind of looked like Vintage Rocket. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously he's been for a while, but um, I thought he ran extremely hard and and ran over some guys. He boy he had a close one there. I thought. Yeah, I made a shoestring tackle on him. I thought he was scored there earlier in the game going to our left. Um, but I thought he played well. He, you know, held on to the ball well and ran hard. How good was this may be a dumb question, but how good was it to have him back playing like that? Well, I mean, it, it, it was real good. You know, he's got a C on his jersey. He's a captain and brings more leadership as well. Um, but anytime – you know, some of your better players aren't playing. You normally don't have quite as good a showing. And 
it was good to have him back. Okay. Did the game have hurt it any better for you? I mean, you no. Down and scored, and then it's it was no, I mean, how about the first drive? That was incredible. You know, boom, 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 boom. And then uh, back then, you know, start rip, rip the ball up. And it's, as I looked up, I think it's like, I don't know what it was, 10, 12, 12, 30, something left in the first quarter. And we're up 14, nothing, which, you know, we hadn't taken much time back. And then they played some special teams a little bit and uh, had some short fields and went right down and scored a couple times. But uh, it, I don't know if we could have scripted that any better. Go check that little four or five there. You're incredible. Fudge. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> We had a nice fade too. And I just, I just didn't have the guts to call it. <laughs> you know, and I felt like we just kept staying in there. And, and then, you know, what do you make a fifty yarder to, to tie it up there at the end? I mean, we're not okay. <laughs> Close enough. Wasn't that incredible? And then their guy misses. You know. Um, and then we get into overtime. What a, just what a, and that's why you do it to see the looks on the kid's face after games like that. That's why you're in it. And it, oh, I like money. I like all kinds of stuff, but I like seeing them kids happy way more than I like anything else as far as football goes. Speaking of that miss, um, you were just, sir, speaking of that miss of Florida and the field goal kicker. It looked like for the staff had a little miscommunication on what they wanted to do uh, as far as fight or run the team on the field, which I feel like the ball should have never been snapped first place. What was the claim to you in that score? Okay. Um, to have a 10 second runoff, the ball has to be put ready for play. And so with all this commotion going on, they never put the ball in their words. Put it ready for play. To be honest with you, in my opinion, I'll have to get a different. The field goal should never. Somebody took care of us on it because the field goal, in my opinion, should never have been kicked. And uh, but that was explanation that, and the officials were good and all that. But they said that the ball was not ever ready for play, and therefore, but they had they had to have 18, 20 guys on the field. Sandy Shake make your first hand. You turn around, your team is celebrating. You go into that locker room. We hear the cheers in here, which we haven't heard in a really long time. But just taking all of that in from your perspective, what's that like? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, uh, you know, these kids work hard. I mean, everybody does. And you you want to win, you know, but. Uh, to again to see them all happy and yeah, I mean it's a big deal to come to Florida and win. I mean a big deal. At least it is in the locker room. I don't know where it is. It is Jamie was a big deal to you. It was a big deal to a lot of people. And to be that excited, they need they had earned that. We never have had a bad football team. We've had some bad luck and we've had some bad results and bad coaching by me and things of that nature, but we've always had a decent team. We just were losing games like that. And to win, that was as incredible. Do you think that helps sell the next three games? I to think it has to. Time, you know, hit the first goal of your mission, you got three more left. I think it has to, you know, um, uh, I want to see us play really well at home. You know, I want to See us play really well in front of our fans. I mean, uh, really well. And uh, because they'll be back out there. And our fans, they, they haven't left us and uh, they'll be back out there. But we want, we want, I want to play really well for them. And, uh, and I, we'll have a good week. This will be easier to have a good week. But uh, if we just keep them accountable for everything that they're doing, we'll get better. And, uh, Bumps and bruises, we've got a bunch of them. Uh, so we're going to have to get healthy for next week. But isn't that something where 3 and 0 in bye weeks? We haven't been beating a bowl. Uh, we stress that to our kids that we have the formula, the remedy, the whatever 
for bye weeks and for long, lengthy. We've lost one game, you know, in the beginning uh, of the season. And then they played Cincinnati, you know, some good teams as well. So we sold that this week, and they, they bought into it as well. And then with the change in OC, um, they bought into that too. So give the kids and the coaches all the credit. But um, as good a win as I've been a part of ever, to be honest with you. Do you have any updates on I mean, you lost Ty, you lost Andrew, you lost who I don't, is, I don't think we're going to get Ty back for the year. I don't think. Uh, he'll be done. I don't think. Uh, Kudus, I think he'll, he'll he'll be back. I don't know when. Armstrong, I think he'll be back. I don't know when. And there was two, three more. So Tank, I don't, I didn't get an update on Tank. It was some type of lower leg, but I didn't get an update on him. And I don't know that about Tyrus, but that's what I was told. What was on the box? Hell, I don't know. A lot of noise, a lot of yelling and screaming and dancing. I don't know what it was. Did you dance? Hell, my wife can't dance that good, but whatever it was, I did. Did can he get a game ball or anything? Or did he will. <laughs> he did get he got brought up in front of the team and I don't even know what I said. It didn't have to say something to Kenny Guy, and then they all went off, you know. But he will. Be honest with you, everybody on our staff, we'll on our coaching staff. It's the first time it ever, ever happened, so be kind of cool. You know, KJ, he, he again looked like his old self. Okay, he looked yeah. a lot more comfortable. You were rolling him out, doing different things. He ran hard. Just what did his performance? I did. I, I I thought he played his butt off. You know, I think third and five, Kenny rolled to the right. I think it was down there. I don't know if we got a field goal out of it, but we we got the first down on a third and five. It was just a little half roll to the right and the guy was wide open you know it just hit him some things like that that we could have been doing for a while and we just well, what what kenny did i thought he he ran what we practiced and uh big deal we didn't run a whole lot of runs today a whole lot of different runs uh, but we got back to the old stretch play that we were good at we were been good at and rocket you know, got some yards on it today. So, Coach, appreciate you. What, what, when did you know Rocket was going to be able to play? Uh, uh, Monday. Probably Tuesday, but when he got through practice on Monday. 